Hey everyone, my name is Sarah and this is The Wolf Among Us. Welcome back. We are about to jump in, yeet the shadow of this game and enter the butcher shop, uh, which I'm kind of regretting we didn't go to first. Uh, Beast did mention that, you know, by the time we get there now, uh, you know, all the evidence of whatever dealings is going on there might vanish. It might have uh, been cleaned up or something. Uh, of course, he mentioned that after we made the decision to... <laughs> Uh, to visit uh, the Leshen first. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, I'm saying Leshen now. Sorry, guys. Uh, what was his name? Jesse. Jesse, that's it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so bad with names. Yeah, Jersey. Because uh, I was thinking about Jersey Shaw, which I've never seen. But anyway, look, let's jump in. Let's eat each other's game. I have been trying to think about where this is going, what's happening, that I don't know anymore. I think my confidence is shattered. I was so confident that I had it down pat. I was so confident that I had it. And now I just have no fucking clue. So let's just go in. Let's just go in. The cut above, that's right. Oh, we look nice. Look at that blood. I like that. That's a nice touch that it's on us from the fight with the Leshen. Sorry, guys, I'm saying Leshen. Oh, we're gonna keep smoking, right? We're about us. We don't give a shit about our health or about signs. Yeah, take that sign. What are you gonna do? We should like just casually knock it over with our hand or burn it with our cigarette. Oh, cause we don't give a shit. We're big B. Yeah, is that collar gonna kill you? Hmm. Okay, so what exactly are we looking for? And what have we missed out on because we didn't come here first? Oh, I'm curious. I, like, I... Uh, I don't know if it does matter. I, I suspect it does. I suspect it does. I hope it does matter that uh, we didn't come here first. I hope we did miss something. I like that idea that there being consequences because we decided to come here second rather than first. So I'm kind of hoping we did miss something uh, because I mean, there is plenty of replay value in this as it is, but I like that uh, element that, you know, I'll, I'll be like, shit, I want to try this again, see what happens if we go here first, you know, what happens if we don't see, don't go to Holly's bar or something, or if we go straight to Crane's apartment, you know, I love that. Let's check this out. Yes, that is where we are. Uh, I wish you would say something, Common. Just a. Uh, Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shit. Why did I do that? I'm such an idiot. Such an idiot. Baby wolf? Hang on. Wait. We need to go through your shit. What happened to you? I'm looking oh. for a piece of the magic mirror. Uh, I didn't know what we were looking what? at. Damn it. Magic mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Don't fuck with us, dude. Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? What? Mm. Bl Bloody Mary? Magic mirror. Why is everyone playing dumb? <laughs> what kind of place do you think this is? Don't oh. bullshit me. I'm uh. not. What you're looking for, I I think you'd be better off looking at uh, the Lucky Pond. Hmm. Yeah, or someplace like that. You know where it is, right? It's around the corner and a few blocks down. I've been there. I didn't find what I was looking for. Look it's at the blood on us. Jersey Take too. us seriously. Words? We'll fuck you anyway, up. Anyway. If, if I'd have known you already looked at the Lucky Pawn, I, I, I wouldn't have pointed you there. Uh -huh. I, I just figured anything worth a damn in Fable Town goes through Jersey's hands at some point. You know that. Believe me, I don't want to waste your time, Sheriff. And I certainly don't mean to offend. I don't know how mm -hmm. else to help. Let's try and scare him. <laughs> yeah, well, Jersey had those dirty hands wrapped around my neck not too long ago. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. It's no. okay. I yeah. smashed his horse face in. Let him face. teeth out. He won't be chewing bubblegum anytime soon. Listen, Johan Crane had the that. mirror. Johan. Mary had Crane. And she comes around here, right? If you're covering for her, I'm mm -hmm. gonna have a problem with you. So you better think real hard about what you say next. Oh, what's on the board there? I... Sandwich. Oh. Sheriff, I... Did, Did you, you do a runner, that? I swear to God. No, no. What? Oh, you sorry. fucker. Hold on. I, I just no, go you check fucker. Out. You Don't fucker. I'll be right back. You Watch fucker. Her. You know. I just have to hey. go see. You asshole. 
Oh, I want to look at stuff first still. Bet that's what Beast was talking about. What is that symbol on there? Uh, that logo looks familiar. I've seen this before at mm. the Tweedles. Tweedles. Oh, we time is probably of the essence, but I want to look at the stuff. <laughs> I, I'm sure we need to chase that guy. Not very appetizing. Mm. Well, Beast was solid. Beast was suggesting it was a front, possibly, or they weren't serving meat, or I don't know. I was suspecting. I was overthinking as usual. Uh, empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Right. <laughs> we should probably pursue him, but... <laughs> I don't see these cuts anywhere in here. Alright, most of that means nothing to me. I don't eat meat. Um... <laughs> Alright, let's uh, casually follow behind. So what was that button? What did that do exactly? Was Shit. that... Yeah, we're coming. Very slowly, we're coming. I wonder if it even mattered that we uh, dawdled and looked around for other stuff. I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. Oh, come on. Such a fight scene coming, right? Johan. Who is Johan? Is he... Uh, like, he must be a fable. Mm. I'm coming to help. What's the problem? I'm just coming <laughs> back to give you a hand. Mm. <laughs> I love that. Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Safety, not hygiene. So what is all this meat here then? Mm, this is disgusting. Fuck this. Fuck, I know, right? Not for everyone. <laughs> no sweating, Sheriff. Just go on to the front. Fuck you, Johan, whoever you are. Whatever fable you are. Oh, you what fable is he? Me. The door's locked, you can't get out. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. We'll kill you first, don't worry. <laughs> oh. What's he He's doing? Gonna get me killed. Mm. Things I do. <laughs> Brilliant. What are you doing? Mm, please, I love please, this. Bigby, please don't. Bigby, what happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please. Please don't kill me. Please mm, don't I think he's scared me. enough. Let's say talk or else. You don't talk, I might have to do just that. Is that what you want, Johan? No, no, please. You don't have to do that. He'll remember that. I'm dead. Either way. Alright, then talk. Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop, or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy, I'll deal with what's behind the door. Hook in the deep freeze. But it's a hard one to live They you mean Mary? Hey, I didn't know what to go with that. You mean Mary? Bloody Mary? This isn't my shop anymore. That crew took it from me a long time ago. Crew? Mm -hmm. Fuck. The crooked man's people. Who Jersey is the Devil, crooked man? D and dumb. Mental case, Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me, took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers what? stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing stay cards, cool? having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. That's I'm right, let him talk, he's talking plenty. I don't know what mm. they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. I'm not allowed to know. Mm, we'll see. Now we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. Oh. I knew this would happen. Okay, you know but... Oh, we can't walk away. Would be the day. Yep. Big B Wolf would walk through my door. And I'd mm -hmm. catch hell for their shit. All that for a shop I can't even run right. Dragon meats in through the front. That is when I even get fresh meat. Mm. Really? I don't even know what's back there. Could be anything. So what, you were trying to get in here to escape, to hide from us? You've never been back here. So what do we think? Drugs? Um, 
Is it specifically because it's got a cooler? Like they need something to cool? Hmm. Oh, I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking, guys. Sorry. I know. I'm bothering you. Nothing. We didn't hear anything. Who was Johan? Johan, what fable is that? You know, it's interesting. I was thinking about the Bloody Mary thing and you guys were telling me how, yes, it's a fable because uh, the whole saying her name three times in the mirror. So it's become a legend. Um, you know, I am I was more thinking about, you know, being like, oh, she's a queen or whatever. Why didn't they just get the her name, the Queen of Hearts or something from Alice in Wonderland? Um, why she could have very easily been that character um in place of bloody mary the whole off with their heads or something or the axe i don't know uh yes let's uh lift this then yeah let's do it x oh this is the most exercise i ever get during lockdown what do we got oh is that drugs are they like making glamour or Tongue of dog? What? Wait, what was that? Run. They got a run light? Hmm. Whoa, silver powder? Nose? What? What is happening here? What is this place? I told you, Bigby. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Do they need it because it's just the space Morning or lights. because it's cold or? Hmm. It's business. It's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. Damn it. You can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. You'd still be here mm. if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to. Huh. Why? You, you had to. here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. So it wouldn't have mattered if we had come here first. From me. It Did you report it? Easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. I needed your help. You're not off the fucking hook yet, Butcher. If mm. I find something, if I so much as smell something that makes me think you're lying. He helped them escape. That's enough. He helped them escape. What is that symbol again? I don't remember that. From the Tweedles. So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours. Other mm. kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. I wasn't sure if they would have, like, drugs in this, like, world. But they have other vices, surely. So, um, you know, they've got alcohol. they got smoking. Um, you know, they're basically in our world. So, I guess... I don't know. I was thinking drugs, but I didn't know for sure if it was Maybe actually just don't that. Touch anything back here, please. Oh, we are going to so examine everything. Chains. <laughs> Who's getting chained up here? They're you testing can't it on think people. I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Oh, the crooked man has eggs now. What? Is this what those loans get you? That crooked piece of shit. Ribbons. Chains, it's it's all the fucking same. Hmm. What uh, no comment? Urgh. Um we can't chat with him. What is this? That's package. Him. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the crooked man's uh, brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. Mm -hmm. So you do know something, huh? Is that a, a wheel or what? Sun? I guess they never used that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. Oh? It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked. By breaking their bones and... Do I really need to explain this? Yes. Yes. Because uh, I'm an idiot and I need everything explained to me very carefully. Wrong! What's in there? Oh, it's a chalkboard. I thought it was like glass that had been dirtied. 
This could have been useful. So it's like a formula, maybe? Oh, we can move it? Ooh, do we want to do that yet? Ooh, what is this? These are raw materials for making magic. Anti-Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Hmm. Interesting. What does this all mean? What does this all mean? Ah. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want some tea bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are hmm. a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. Hmm. What the hell is that? jacket do we want to touch this we haven't looked at the chalkboard yet we haven't looked at the chalkboard yet i don't agree all right fine let's look at it i know this isn't your coat what's it doing here it's a coat what's the big deal about some dirty looks like cranes it's seen some abuse hmm. i'm sure he handled it just fine hmm Oh, can we go back to the chalkboard though? Oh. Ah. No time for traveler's checks, huh? Huh? Yeah, we're taking it. You won't be needing this anymore. <laughs> we are so crooked. Where is crooked as a crooked man? That sick piece of. Hmm. What else we got? Shard. It's the shard. Fine. Green did take it. Hmm. Hey. No, 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 no. The chalkboard. The chalkboard. Well, real happy you found what you're looking hey. for, baby. But what about me? The chalkboard. Huh? The chalkboard. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my end. There's no way to get out of this. Report I don't know. to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there, and we'll uh, we'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. Yeah, You're we're not going to protect me. Probably not. Go ahead and remember that. We're not going to protect anyone. <laughs> oh, new entry unlocked. Nice. Uh, but the chalkboard. Ah, uh, no. Damn it! I never know what's going to progress the scene. Ah. So the run button, so they're not going to return? That's the thing. They could return, right? He could just say, oh, it's a false alarm, and then let Big B know when they return. Or they, they've gone for good. I don't know. Aha, uh -huh, we didn't catch a look at the I don't chalkboard. care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers... All right, do not show Bluebeard the shard. Do not show him the shard. Go. I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Oh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, oh, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to oh, wait. we cleaned off all the blood. Just one nice. one moment, please. Look what I found. No! Ah, oh, not in front of Bluebeard. Seems I can't trust him. Wants a biscuit. I'm not in the mood. And you've got a lot to answer for. Oh, really? Yeah, what Buffkin, the fuck? Get this piece in the mirror right away. Why did you destroy evidence? <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work. I don't know, baby. dude. I don't know. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, mm. it's fine. So what else did you find out? I don't I know. I had to get real persuasive with the Jersey Devil down at the Lucky Pawn. But he told me that the crooked man's door to wherever it is he hangs his hat. It moves. It's some kind of magic door. Do you think the mirror will be able to find the door once it's fixed? That's how Crane did it. That's how we're going to do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Mm hmm. Uh... Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Unbelievable. Why what was that about? Burn crane stuff, huh? Don't bullshit me. Buffkin was there. I know it was you. 
Given Ichabod's obsession with Miss White, I thought it best to make sure that nothing uh, untoward saw the light of day. Oh, fuck Ooh, is off. that it? I know you were burning evidence. Mm. Then tell me, what evidence did I burn? This is going by memory? I have more important things to deal with right now. You can be oh. sure that I thought it was going to ask us to recall what he burned. Because it wasn't like so one of the things like a talks? clock or something? I'll wait with bated breath. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. What is you that weird music? Why? Can you hear that music? Got me. It's so weird. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. Uh. So this process can be a little touchy. It helps mm. that I have a good working relationship with the mirror. And I don't mind speaking in rhyme. I don't know. So, it was at the butcher shop. Think of anything? I found it at the butcher shop, the cut above, and was in Crane's coat. There was a lot of weird magic going on there. Mm. It has something to do with it. Other than that, the last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some. Ah, yes. Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. Mm -hmm. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. If you ask me, you're everything that's wrong with Fabletown. Is it fixed? Oh my god. Did you ask about the crooked man? Wait, who's Bluebeard Pumpkin talking to now? He said it might Who's... be a while. Oh, he's talking to Mr. Toad. I thought he was talking to um, Snow White. What from the business office so bad? Well, she's walking away. My business. I, I can't take those two right now. We'll get your business back if We're that's what you to want. Catch a murderer, and they're they're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? Do you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. Okay. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Oh. Oh, okay. Toad, come here. Oh, I thought we were going to get a chance to walk around. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried mm -hmm. talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you, and you can't deny it. This place isn't a bank, sorry, oh, dude. This is the business office, not a bank. You're Doesn't matter that we just stole from Crane. It's my responsibility. Well, what about your responsibility? My car, total, the gaping mall in my wall. Any of us sound familiar? I'm not mm, looking for No, I don't hand. remember. Just what's right. I need it, Big B. Mm, not my fault. I didn't throw myself through your wall. I'll ask Woody if you want payback. You good for nothing piece of... The woodsman is broke. You saw the way he was living. Yeah. In your building. You know what I mean. <sighs> Please, I need the money for glamours, Big V. That's all. This isn't exactly a new problem with you, Toad. Mm. You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig, hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Yeah, you thought we didn't know about him, huh? A worst kept secret in fable time. Mm. For a friend, the rules He stays out of sight and we'll give him Crane's money. <laughs> Colin stays out of sight, for Mondays at least. Can you say the same? Oh, fine, fine, I get that. But might I propose a very simple solution? What, if you're you gonna give blackmail me one us? More chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to stay. Mm. I'm not gonna ask for any more than I need. I just wanna stay. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest a watch. Um, but as we said, it's an ongoing problem. Naomi knows this old glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. You know, it's not right. What does it mean by it won't be forever? This world isn't kind to those of us who can't pass. What does it won't be forever mean? You were unglamoured three days ago. 
you're hmm. still unglamored now. I can't ignore that. But you go to the farm, things cool down here a bit. Maybe you can come back at some point. Hmm. Best I can do. You chose to send her to the farm. Shite. Government by the fables for the fables, my ass. <sighs> we gotta be a hard ass. We gotta. Low beer. You wanna talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office. So direct your questions to Miss White. We're corrupt. Do I don't care. Well, stole money from he's everyone. Not to get rid of me. He's not. For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, yes. I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now. Oh, we're cool. Glamours are the law for a very good reason. You uh, know that as well. As I did the right thing. I don't, don't know. Worry. I did the right thing. Okay. Good. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You I think his they said Do something. You have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked They knew something and said something hand, or if it was one of his goons. But it's about control. Did. What would make a person do that? I have what a feeling it's because they said something. If there's one thing I figured out, it's that the crooked man is all about control. It's what he does. So with the, the ribbons on the neck, punch, I reckon the if they say house, something, chains, ribbons. Maybe faith their and heads get like doing what they were told. Cut off or something, or I don't know. Maybe they just trying to leave. Mm, Sheriff, maybe. Miss White, I believe the mirror is repaired. Uh, can we guess Florin? I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. What? Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Hmm... <laughs> He's probably still waking up a little. Why are we doing Snow, this? I know you've got your reasons, but he's not our top concern right now. Hmm. You'll just see you him all sad and, and pathetic. Paris, and... and you will wait for the day the crooked man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait hmm. a minute. Someone's watching. Yeah, where do you get that new coat? Interesting. What just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction. We looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll have to that track rhyme. down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? Just <laughs> show me where I can find the crooked man. I haven't been feeling well of late. Seems neither of us can cooperate. Damn. <laughs> Perhaps I can be of assistance? <clears throat> mirror, Shut up, mirror, fucking. keep us sane. Show the door to crooked man's domain. I can always count on you, Buffkin. Recognize the door, but that's the crooked man symbol on it. Hold off. Hmm, okay. Because it moves around. The door. It moves. what I tell you? Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's going to move again, but I'm going to get there before it does. Big B, wait. When you get the crooked man. Make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense Ooh, street music. justice. I know that, that guy hanging in the background. High, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. But we have to make a commitment to working with him. No the guarantees. Life. Sorry, can't, can't guarantee. Promise. This could turn sour, just depending on how the wind blows. I have to be able to handle it how I see fit. Hmm. If people are going to have faith in the Fable Town government again, we need to be fair. Show them that we're doing things the right way. Okay, but if our life is on the line, we're like gonna the fight till the death, death, all right? So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. Oh, I thought that was like a, 
a note to us, the gamer. Are you ready? Oh, quick, just check our location and check our spells and what weapons we've got. Do we need some more potions? Okay, I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna have to look at the Book of Fables because we got some new entries and we haven't looked at that yet. Uh, what do we got? Johan, who the hell is Johan? Johan the Butcher. His name is often said in the same breath as that of the baker and candlestick maker of Fable Town. I'm not familiar with that at all. And like those other tradesmen, Johan the Butcher's storefront storefront has served Fable Town for ages. Fresh carts, exotic meats, and even full sides of beef for the vigorous appetites of ogres and trolls. But Johan's business has fallen on hard times and fallen in with the wrong crowd. As the quality of pro products declined and his business turned into a front operation for the Crooked Man, some have started to wonder if they ever really knew Johan. Mm. Bluebeard's money! Interesting. One might think that Bluebeard donates funds to the Fable Town government for nefarious purposes, seeking special favours, or to have a louder voice in government proceedings. But what he really wants is stability and strength, because as far as Bluebeard is concerned, Fable Town exists to insulate him from the money world. As much as his money can be a sword, it also serves as a shield. Hmm. That's it. Ow! Have we missed some? I don't know, because we found the shoe, and then we got those two, so, ah, okay, okay, okay. All right, sorry guys, sorry to, sorry to do that. Hmm. Oh, big showdown coming. Lost Cat, we're going to find you, Pixel, we'll find you, where will Pixel be? I will die if uh, if the crooked man is actually Pixel. <laughs> That's it, all right. What are we gonna do? Can we just try and open it? Whoa. Okay. All right. New theory: the crooked man is Pixel, the cat. But what else can we do? All right. Fine. Interesting. Has the door moved again? So what is this? What fable is this exactly? Tim. What? what the Tiny Tim? What are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Not Tiny Tim, Thanks, right? Thanks, by the way. For leaving off Tiny. Tiny Tim. You think uh, I'd have grown that centuries ago. Don't shake? I don't know. What, what's going on here? I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. But I get it. You're not here on a social call. Where the hell am what I? What is this place? Or where is it? I know I'm not in Central Park. Tiny anymore. Tim is like I'm not a sure. fable? I've only ever come in through one of the portals. I don't think you can get in from the actual street. But you can't blame him for wanting to make it hard to find. I'm supposed to bring um, you right on in, so... But if you'll come this way. I'm so well, confused what the definition the of fable is now. Do. Please don't make this hard on me. I don't want to get in trouble. Get this all over right, with. Let's get this over with. Come on. That's all I want, Sheriff. What what does fable mean then? I'm so confused. We're getting like Dickensian crap now? Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm, I'm not a do. fan. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard. It was Dickens, right? Oh, fuck. That, Makes me an ass of myself. I was a little surprised myself when they asked me Why to is it. he here? I thought it was a joke, actually. It's dangerous for you, I'm right? I don't know. Target. Is it? You shouldn't be here, Tim. This place is dangerous. Especially for someone like you. It's not like that. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid if you're gonna tell me that the crooked like. man is scrooge mcduck or he something gave me a job <laughs> and i'm lucky to have it this is the only option i've got uh, just keep that in i hope it's scrooge maybe. mcduck because if you not and scrooge. go up against each um other, the rest of fable town is gonna get caught in the middle and if you're here it can't be good so i hope you two can 
You're technically you involved, right, dude? You realize you're not like just the butcher. The door. Work for that crooked bastard. Your hands get dirty too. It's not so bad. Not so bad. Are you fucking blind, Tim? He's a murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. I'm so we confused. You, I'm so confused. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Uh... Can you just wait up, Sheriff? Hold on. Fine, we'll wait. Uh, I, I, what is going Thanks. on? Yeah, ha, 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 ha. Oh, my God. Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah? Mate, I ain't scared of you. So Tell me who the like fuck is problem. back there. You needn't worry. I, I don't exactly know. I, I just mind the I door. Like before him. The boss is there. I'm sure he will prove himself I quite that handy much. to have in my pocket. Either he's smart enough to see this is for the best. If it's Scrooge, at least make a Scrooge McDuck, right? Can we walk away? And made into a rug for me to wipe his shoes off. He's right. We have our money. We have the money. Over, but this guy off his leash is a whole other barrel of crap that I don't want. Sorry, I'm listening. Well, that's it then. Let's zip the dogs of war. Hmm? None of you can see fit to stare him down. The best outcome you can picture is having him dead. I like to think a little bigger than that. You're not frightened. Are you? Yeah, it's easy for you to say. He didn't pull the claws out we on you. We'll tame the rope, and I pray he will eventually be of more use to us alive. Well, I don't like it. It's not for you to like. Oh! Oh, no! No, 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 no! But I have a job to do. Oh, what? Oh, what did it listen? I didn't realize Sheriff it Sheriff Wolf ran out. Oh, hello! Hello there! Oh. Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. What? Uh, what? What is happening? What? You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Uh, what is happening? What is happening? Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Ah, uh, smoke. <laughs> That was not Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> um. No, 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 no. Ah. Uh, stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. Oh my god, we got our choices. We got our choices. Okay. Did you send Colin to the farm? You and 85.5% of players. Ah! Decided Colin should not go to the farm. Did you attempt to remove Nerissa's ribbon? You and 63.8% of players did not try to remove the ribbon. It seemed like we were. It seemed like we were, right? Um, like, I, I purposely chose that, that option because... We didn't want to do anything like that, but we still like came at her and she was afraid of it being removed, right? So I assume that removing it um, can kill her 
and her talking can kill her. I'm assuming that's what happened with Faith and Lily. And yeah, we couldn't send Colin to the farm. We couldn't send Colin to the farm. Um, which crooked operation did you investigate first? You and 36.8% of players went to the Lucky Pawn first. Interesting. So can you gain anything different if you go to the Butcher first? We're in the minority there. Interesting. Interesting. Huh. Yeah, I don't know if, if, um, if there's a massive consequence in, in going to the Lucky Pawn first and going to the Butcher second, because um, if it was a case of they had run out, right? They had run out or something. They had been spooked by us because we went to Lucky Pawn first. Uh, then, yeah, I completely understand that. But uh, it wasn't until we were there that Johan gave them the warning that he pressed the button. So what can you gain? What can you lose? What did we miss out on then? Hmm. Did you send... Shit. Did you send Joe to the farm? You and 24.1% of players decided Joe should go to the farm. <laughs> Shit. We're in the minority there. I don't know. I feel like we got to be a hard ass. I think we got to be a bit more of a hard ass. Um, also, we kind of we kind of made promises, maybe sort of, to Snow that... Because uh, she's, she's, I guess, like... She's like the acting... Um, Oh, crap. What was Crane's title? She's acting something. And uh, so, I don't know. I guess we're trying to stay on her good side as well, right? How did you respond to the Crooked Man? You and 43.7% of players lit a cigarette. <laughs> okay, so what did the rest do? Uh, there was like, like, sit and listen to what he was going to say or something. And then... Um, the other option was, what, you're under arrest or something? And I can't remember what the fourth one was. Interesting. So who is this crooked man? I don't recognize him. Like, should I know him from something in particular? Um, is he in A Christmas Carol as well? Like, why is Tiny Tim... Uh, I'm kind of confused by, like, the definition of fable. And why would Tiny Tim be in it? I don't know. Why? Some of these characters being in this, like, make a whole heap of sense. And then others, I'm like, what? Like, it seems kind of left a field to me, at least. I don't expect them. So I'm like, yeah, sure. Scrooge McDuck might be in here somewhere. <laughs> uh, okay, let's continue. And sit through the credits. Ah, loud. Oh, my God. Um, was this a shorter chapter? I feel like it was. Um... I'm trying to think how long each chapter is. Are they about two hours, three hours each? Or... I'm not sure. Okay, so what the fuck is going on? We saw, um... Oh, what's her name? Like Vivian or something? Olivia or Vivian? Something with a V in it. We saw her there. So she's in on it. The Tweedledee and Tweedledum. We saw both of them. Right? I'm sure we saw two of them in there, right? Like, fables are hard to kill, so... Um, or maybe I just imagined that. Uh, we saw Georgie, um, Jersey. Who else did we see in there? Is that it? I'm not sure. Hmm. I don't know. What the fuck does this mean? Who is the crooked man? Who is the crooked man? I don't know my fables very well, and and some of them are like Dickensian. Like why, why? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Really not a Dickens fan either. I never read a Christmas Carol though. That was his, right? Fuck. <laughs> I don't know. I I don't know what to think. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to think. I've got no ideas. I've got no ideas. Only things I can sort of piece together is that. <sighs> but why would Vivian be wearing? She wears one of those ribbons too, right? So is she there willingly? 
Is she there willingly? If she were, why would she have a, a ribbon? Because the ribbon is about, like, stopping them from talking, I assume, right? Mm. And stopping them from talking about what? Like, their lips are sealed about what exactly? Just everything relating to the Crooked Man and all the shady dealings going on in Fable Town? Um... Ah, oh, man! Ah. Just more questions! Just more questions so we'll get, get some answers in this one. No. Alright, do we have more, uh, yes. Oh crap, no. Not player choices. I don't want to look at my player choices. Don't want to look at my player choices. Let's go back. Sorry guys. Okay, Book of Fables. Alright, we had some new ones, right? Yes! What? What is this? The Crooked Lair headquarters, occupying a desanctified church. This is just one of many locations the Crooked Man's operation uses to run the Fable Town underworld. Its l lounge atmosphere makes for a comfortable meeting place unless you are an unwelcome guest. It is completely boarded up to the outside world and the only way in is through one of the many portals marked by a door with the Crooked Man's Catherine Wheel icon. Catherine? Huh. Scattered throughout the city and elsewhere. Oh! Catherine. The Crooked Man, Crime Lord. The Crooked Man has slowly built himself into one of the most powerful figures in Fable Town. His operation started with a crooked sixpence and a crooked house. Two things he cared about more than his wife or children, whom he killed, rather than let them stand in his way. In his rise, the Crooked Man has ensnared many fables in his criminal web, providing them with what they need, but always at a high cost. He is cunning, persuasive, and ruthless. Tiny Tim. While most fables theorize that their longevity and overall well-being is proved by the Monday world's knowledge of them, for a select few that does not seem to be it's not that does not seem to apply when a malady or injury is an integral part of the fable story. Ah, that notoriety can make recovery nearly impossible. That's what Tiny Tim thinks, at least, and no medical care or magic, rather none that he can afford, can heal his leg. Huh. Did we? We got all of them in four. We got all of them in four, but we missed some in three. What did we miss in three? Shit balls. Oh, I can't believe we're at to chapter five already, guys. We're about to go to chapter five. Damn it. Uh, well, that's going to be a short video. I'm really sorry, guys. Um, but we'll pick this up very soon. Uh, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And just give a shout out to my lovely patrons. Thank you guys for your support. You guys are fantastic. I love you so much. And if you'd like to become a patron yourself, then check out the link in the description below. If you liked this video, please do like and subscribe to your channel. It really helps me out. It really does make a difference. I'll catch you guys in the next one in chapter five. Ha, ah, okay. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm kind of scared and I don't want this to end. It's ending soon, guys. It's ending. Uh, then what? Like what? What will our lives mean after that? Nothing. Just be emptiness. <laughs> Anyway, thank you once again. Until the next time, please do have an amazing day, slash night, slash whatever, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.